Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Y once again. Few days back I uploaded this video and many of you asked me to explain how I did lighting for the scene. Yes, today's video will be inside Unreal Engine and I will tell you what was my approach of doing lighting for this scene. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my scene setup and if I'm going over here and you can easily see I have my pretty good setup of orange and blue kind of complementary color scheme and also if I can go out you can see very soft and dim light in cave right so my target area will be this where my character is and just to show you if I'm going to show this will be my character lighting setup you can see and this will be my environment lighting setup right so in environment lighting setup i have nothing much to do right because i have like directional light and exponential uh, fog light and point light and many more right so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave my environment light as it is for now if needed i can start tweaking it but main thing is how i turn my character lighting right so i'll explain my environment light it's not nothing nothing like that it's, it's pretty simple so over here i'm going to unlit mode so that i can see what's going on right so here i am going to create one new folder and it will be a uh, character lit yt for youtube right and i'm going to switch on and here i am going to add my first slide so my main idea was to incorporate my complementary color scheme which is uh, orange and kind of blue so i'll start one light from ground that will hit my character from behind right so over here i'm going to take a light which will be my point light right over here and hit g on keyboard just to see what light is doing and from here i'm going to let mode right so probably over here i'm going to place it and also i'm going to change my temperature to 3500 so that it will generate my orangish light kind of stuff right so over here also i'm going to increase intensity probably like 26 28 if needed i can increase it but for now it's all fine right like this now i can see a light is coming from behind and it's hitting my character pretty well right also i'm going to add one more light which will interact this part of my character probably i can duplicate it or i can use one spotlight so i'm going over here and i will take uh, light and probably spotlight will be good candidate i'm going to put it over here right and let's bring over here and i can rotate it right probably 180 degree and let's come over here and let's move it like this and probably i'm not going to use that spread i'm going to use uh, like this much because i just want to interact this part and probably attenuation radius will be little lesser uh, something like that if needed i can change it later and same way i'm going to use temperature to 3500 which will be orange kind of stuff like this right so these two setup i started and again just to complement it i'm going to use another light which will come from top and it will be like blue right so again i'm going over here and i'm going to use lights and spotlight that will be good and i'm going to let's hit f to focus and let's bring it like this like this and also we need to lower down my cone angle so that it will be targeted to my character only like this right and let's increase the intensity 
yes i am getting good results now but as you can see over here i am getting kind of white orange light but uh, if i'll go to temperature and if i am going to increase it so you can see easily see i am having my bluish kind of effect and if needed i can go and i can use light color as well right like this now the main thing is i am missing my uh, fogging right so in spotlight and probably i'll select all these three lights at spotlight and i'll go and i'll move to character yt right so also i'm going to just select this light and i'll type volumetric and i'll add cast shadow static shadow volumetric shadow and just to see i'm going to hit 50 right kind of 50 now i can see i'm having my volumetrics and if needed i can rearrange it like this probably uh, 50 is a good amount i think it's now looking fine to me right so uh, if needed what i can do i can increase it more but for now I think it's looking fine to me but if you can see closely my this area is not looking that great because it's it's in shadow right so what I can do I can add one more spotlight see again it's my personal choice so if needed you can use it the way you want but I'm using or I'm showing my way of doing it so probably I'll add one more light over here and I'm going to rotate it like this right and let me check if i can move it little upwards and little back let's rotate it little more and i can target it like this i can target on his chest right so let's see and probably I can increase intensity. So you can see his chest is little lit now. So let me rotate it little like somewhat like this. And same way I'm going to use temperature to 3500. Why not like this? And if I'm going to hit G on keyboard, now you can see I am having good light setup. Let's go to my camera probably actor two. Now you can see I'm having good amount of lighting, but these areas are not looking that great because I think I need to add few more lights which will come on hands, right? So let's exit from here and let's go inside. And I think my top lit is little too much. Probably I'll lower it down, but for now it's, it's all okay for me, right? So again, I'm going to add one more light which will be again spotlight you can you can use point light as well if needed so i'm going to use my spotlight and probably it will affect my hand only like this let me rotate it little and let me decrease it attenuation radius so i want to hit his arm only right like this and probably i'll move it a little so you need to give time and again probably i'll use a blue light why not like this and i will increase intensity like this and let's add little more blue so if you can see now i'm having little blue light from this way orange light from this way and it's looking pretty nice to me right same way i can add one more light over here other hand right so hit g on keyboard and let's duplicate it by holding alt and i can rotate it let's rotate it like this and let's place it like this so you need to give time to these kind of setups because yes it's needed and you can easily see 
am having my this thing and probably i'll lower my attenuation radius so probably it will hit on his arms only right like this probably i'll do this kind of stuff right so this will be my approach of doing lighting if needed i can add few more lights which will hit only these chains but for now i think it's a it's a good start let's see now i am having my rim light you can see i am having my key light i am having my lights on arm so you can easily see uh, these chains are in dark shadows right so i need to do few things like i can probably go over here and i can i can hit g on keyboard and i can take this slide and probably i can duplicate it and i can rotate it like this and i'll target only chains little hint of light will work for me like this and if needed i can change attenuation radius so hit g on keyboard and you can see it's not that lit so let me increase uh, now it's coming little hint not much if needed i can increase cone angle and attenuation radius probably i'll lower down because i just want to hit these chains so you can see my scene is taking shape right so uh yeah this is the way how i started doing my lighting so i'll select go over here and i'll right click and move to yt and this light also i can right click and move to character light yt and let's see so if i'm going to switch off this and switch on this same way i added multiple things right over here you can easily see i have my all lights like i have this light backlight i have this light which is coming from bottom i have my spotlight over here which is coming from top i have another spotlight which is coming from left side right side and what not right also what i have done i have added fog planes right so let me show it to you i have fog plane 1 fog plane 2 and particular on that fog plane i have added few fogs can you see that so it's a basically a media card if needed i can show it to you how i have created but it's a fog kind of stuff which is creating illusion that we have lots of fog right apart from that what i have done to uh, do lighting in my out outside cave so i just have a spotlight which is hitting my these walls another uh, my this light area point light which is illuminating my scene and uh, i think i have added one more light which is hitting from behind so this is my whole setup so i hope you guys enjoyed uh, the process of doing lighting inside unreal engine and you have learned something new in today's video and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day